Okay, so it's some 18 minutes after 7. You're welcome to my banner. Really important issue. We started the discussion last week. We've taken it from different, different angles. Uh, now we are here. This is where we are. Yesterday we engaged the Muslim uh, Student Association. We saw the president here uh, in that conversation. And today my guests... Uh, this is coming out of a press statement that was issued yesterday. Before we get down to the conversation, though, I want to read the details of that press release as issued by the Ghana Kali Bishops Conference on Religious Practices in Mission Schools yesterday. Uh, and the statement says that the members of the Ghana Catholic Bishops Conference have followed with grave concern the recent developments in our dear nation with respect to calls for unregulated religious practices in our schools. We note in particular the unwarranted threats of sanction coming from government circles. Needless, we are stating that no citizen in Ghana should allow him or herself to be cowed down by any intimidation or threats of sanction from any individual. And there's an assurance to school heads which says that consequently we wish to assure heads of our Catholic educational institutions uh, to remain resolute and not feel unduly intimidated by threats of sanctions. We expect our heads to continue to manage our schools in ways and practices that are in conformity with our Catholic identity and mission. Meanwhile, we're open to initiating dialogue that will bring consensus as early as possible to resolve these issues amicably. Uh, there's a conclusion uh, to this statement, but I'll leave it and talk about the details with my guest this morning. I'm happy to be joined by the General Secretary of the Ghana Catholic Bishops Conference. He's a father, uh, Reverend Father Nicholas Efri. I want to say good morning to you, sir. Thank good you for your time. Good morning. So, um, you issued this press statement that I read out yes. yesterday. Uh, may I ask? What informed this release? It is what has been going on for about two weeks or one or two weeks now about the demonstration in Takrade by uh, uh, Muslim brothers. And then what came out of it, the government, the Minister of Communication issued a statement on it. And then during the State of the Nations address, the, the president also uh, spoke about it. And you were not surprised about the demonstrations in Takrade because it's normal if they, that is what they feel, they can demonstrate. Mm -hmm. But what the government is saying, the threat to heads, uh, we were not expecting that to come out, uh, come from the government. Because if there is anything, then it should have been maybe directing the GES and the Ministry of Education to dialogue meet the stakeholders in education and talk about these things. Mm. But directly telling the heads that if they do anything, they are going to be sanctioned and those things, that, 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 that was, the, uh, was our, our beef about it. So that informed the conference to come out and say, no, this thing cannot happen. We are in a de democratic uh, society. If somebody is doing something wrong, where do you go? Do you tra threaten the person? And if somebody tra threatens that, oh, maybe our, 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 our kill you. I mean, the person will be taken to court. So you don't do that. You go straight. Maybe you can go to court if you think the person is not doing the right thing. Do, do, uh, you, do you think that the communication uh, got your heads confused? Not confused, but surprised. They were surprised about it. But how can a government say, oh, straight away without reference to anybody, without meeting any of them, stakeholders in education, uh, coming out in such a strong language, that, that was the problem. Mm. They were not confused. They were clear about what, what, what they had. Uh, have you heard the other side of the story that says that this is just re-echoing something that is in our constitution, that everybody has the right uh, you know, to believe in what they want to believe in uh, and to show it anyhow that they want to show it? And the same constitution says that you have, people have the right also to establish schools. And if they have the right to establish schools, do they establish the schools and leave the schools just like that for anybody to go there and do whatever they want to do? No, it's not, it's not like that. Schools are established so that citizens of Ghana will be educated, but in a certain environment. 
It can be a Catholic environment, it can be a Presbyterian environment, it can be a Methodist environment, it can be a Muslim environment. So if you go there, then you have to be educated in that environment, but not according to what you want, what you think. No, that is, that is wrong. And over the years, the state has allowed that to happen. Yeah, I, I, I think I was asking educated. the question, this has not become an issue in the past. At all. So why, why do you think it's cropping up now? Maybe the, 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 those who are doing that can tell us that what is the problem. Is anybody being forced to believe in what we believe? No. No, but the it reality hasn't. is yeah. if you don't go for morning devotions, I mean, it's compulsory. Yeah. It's part of the rules. You have to go for the devotion. Yeah. And I want to believe that you also have to actively take part there. Isn't that an issue? I don't think it is actively to take part. We are gathering, for instance, in the morning, maybe 6.30, we have to gather, all of us. Mm -hmm. If you allow people to be in the dormitories, for instance, what will happen? Who is going to take control of those uh, people in the dormitories? So it is better we gather together, and then if it is prayer, those who are involved in it pray, and then at the end of the prayer, nobody, is, you cannot force, as a Catholic, I, I cannot force anybody, come to my church, come to Holy Communion, because we see Mass every day, come to Holy Communion. No. But we have to gather together. You, whether you believe in what is happening, that one is not an issue. You don't believe in it, we, there is no problem. But come there and be there until we finish and go. And this has not, never been an issue. And even in the basic schools, it has never been an issue. But now people are saying, no, we, we, can, we can accept that. If, I mean, why don't we establish our own schools and go there? And then say, I have this education. I want to educate my people, who, the all people who come there. If, I, as a Catholic, I decide to go to, uh, uh, for instance, uh, an Islamic school, whatever happens there, I have to be part. Because I have decided to go there. Uh -huh. Even, even no, you don't believe it. I don't believe in it, but I have to be there, maybe part. And it has happened to uh, SDA schools. People go there, they are, they are not supposed to put uh, on, on earrings. earrings. And they have to go to church I, I have, on Saturdays. I have met some Catholics who have gone there and they were told not to, and they had to comply. And so uh, it's, it's part of the tolerance that we have. So if they are talking about religious Tolerance. It's the same thing. Why don't you tolerate what is happening there and after that I go my way? But you say, no, we, it's like we are going. But, but you know, the, path. I, I, you know, the Christian Council of Ghana and other groups, yeah. you know, had confirmed that they were meeting the Peace Council mm -hmm. and, and they believed in dialogue, that yeah. dialogue could resolve this, not any politician stepping in exactly. so uh, some people were also a bit surprised when you issued a statement yesterday because they thought why don't you just leave it for the peace council to handle it mm. uh, leaving it well, uh, you see our head the heads of our institutions they also they, they didn't know what to do now they have been threatened what do so our leaders should also tell them no we support you and so you wait we are dialoguing we will come back to you but continue w w with what we have been doing. So it was important for the conference to come out. Mm. But who, who is running the schools? Well, you see, it depends. The basic schools is being managed by GES. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like the, the church, the churches have, they have no role as such as at now. Local managers are there, but they are being sidelined. They don't play any meaningful role. Uh -huh. But in the in the secondary schools, the churches are managing it. Okay. Most of them are managing the schools. If if you say managing, how are we talking financially? You don't pay the teachers yourselves, do you? Oh yeah, that that is the uh, issue that people are raising that you don't pay the teachers, and so why should you? It, it, it is the duty of the government, or not the, the government, the state, to educate citizens. And over the years, the state has not been able to do that. That is why the missions, the churches, decided to assist the government. And so the government also thinks that, you no, know, they are educating citizens, so let me support them. So it's a support. That is why in dealing with education, it's a partnership. It's a partnership between the government and the religious bodies. So that's how you see this relationship? That, that, is, that is it. That is it. Over the years, 
over the years before independence, before independence and since independence until now, it has been partnership. But the problem is that now they want to sideline the religious bodies, the missions. So can can I take you to a typical school of yours, Pope yeah. Jones? Okay. Uh, how is it being run? Who takes care? Who manages? Who takes care? Who is uh, responsible for the financial needs okay. of the school? T take me to uh, Sunyane St. James. Okay, uh, no problem. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's a senior high school too. Senior high school. Very yeah. well. There, we, the, the head is, the, is, is, is a priest, is a Catholic, mm -hmm. who sees to it that the Catholic identity is there. Okay. And that is what is happening in all, all the, our schools. And so is the government, which, the, it was established by the Catholic Church, okay. built by, by the Catholic Church. I went there. At the beginning, it was tough. But As in gradually, financially? Yeah. Okay. So, but later on, it became well established. Mm -hmm. And after that, the church decided to partner with, with the state. Okay. So they come in and support because we are educated. So, what do they support with? They support they financially. The they, they teachers. They pay yes, the teachers. The teachers. Okay. And sometimes they, they can also build structures, and the church can also build structures. Okay. So, that, that's the kind of relationship. Yeah, the, the relationship so, in other words, mm. you own it with the states. Can I say that? Uh, no. Okay, you own your we church, own it. but you're getting support from the state. Uh, from the state. Because we are not educating only our members. We are educating citizens who are supposed to be educated by the state. And the state cannot do it alone. So, uh, in other words, I think what I'm asking is who should be calling the shots? The owner. But the owner is because not owner financially is responsible for the institution. The owner can be financially responsible if they, that is what the state wants. If you say, no, 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 we, we can't continue this way, you will uh, you take your schools. We can manage it. So what, you're, you're It means the citizens will suffer because then they will pay to go to that school. And that is what is happening in the basic schools in Ghana now. Go to any... Let me take my hometown, Guyana, for instance. We have bas uh, public basic schools. But now, over the years, that is what we have been having, and that is where some of us went. But now go there and see the private schools coming up. People are taking their children from the public schools where teachers are trained. Why? Because now it's like GES, manage it. They are not managing it well. Say, circuit supervisor is there. Where does he go? What is happening? That he is there supervising, but the teachers are not, are not teaching. They are not performing. The children are not performing. So the parents have decided to take their children to private schools where they pay. Is there a certain contract that outlines the responsibilities of both both parties? Oh, Do you both understand your positions? Yes. Over the years, it you see it has it has been in existence, but there it is, it is not written. Okay. That is why. The Cali Church initiated the partnership uh, program that together with other churches and other religious bodies, not only uh, Christians, but even uh, the Muslim brothers, we got together and then developed an MOU together with the Minister, uh, minister of Education. Okay. Uh -huh. And so at the end, we took it there for the ministry to look at it and say we agree or we don't agree. Mm -hmm. Since July last year, not as, nothing has happened to it. January, we wrote a reminder, but nothing has So what, what is contained in this memorandum of understanding? Oh, it's uh, outlining the rules of uh, the, the owner, the state, okay. uh, managers, and heads. And all parties, all pa exactly. the religious groups, groups. We were had agreed the, to uh, the contents of this. Exactly, exactly. So this is for government to take a look at it and say, exactly. uh, okay, we, so okay. This, is, this is the agreement, we agree to it as well, uh, exactly. then it becomes... Uh -huh. And if that happens, you will be okay. Then so we'll if, be. If, if that had happened, mm. it means that these issues wouldn't have cropped up. But... This issue is not part of the agreement. This agreement is the part is between the, the church and the state. But this one is like uh, internal thing that maybe the churches should sit down and look at it. If somebody comes to your place, what do you do? Uh -huh. So it, it, that is not part of the agreement. Uh -huh. You know, the, there's also another header, which is the computerized placement system.
So sometimes people may not willingly want to come to a Catholic school, for instance, but they are placed there. Yes. So, uh, the, so the strategy is uh, the, the the issue is uh, is not as big as we have it, but now we have to extend it to the computer selection thing and then to the partnership. Mm -hmm. Yes, the computer thing. People maybe I, I hear that they choose two, three, four schools, mm -hmm. but sometimes they are taken to schools where they didn't choose. It happens, uh -huh. and even if they choose the schools, they are being asked to choose. Maybe he wants to go to school A, but school A may not take him, and so he chooses school B, where he, he doesn't feel like going there. Mm -hmm. And so uh, he, he, he's taken there. And he, so, some of them I know, they, 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 they have wished to have gone to another place, but they are taken to those schools. And that is causing one of the, uh, the problems, because now he goes there, he thinks that um, um, maybe a Catholic have been taken to a uh, school being run by the Presbyterians. And so what do I do? It becomes an issue. So there could be, that's why from the onset, from the beginning, the Ghana Catholic Bishops Conference said no, said no to the computer selection. Mm. Uh, so am I right in saying that the kind of partnership that you have with the state, you run the school, yeah. Uh, some funding comes from the states. State and some funding. And you also. own the school as well. Exactly. But you run it, you know, based, based on your, on your mission, because it's mission. a mission school. Yeah, on, on your values, mm. the values that you mm -hmm. want to. And after, at the end, who benefits? Is 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 is, is the state? But let's let's mm. take a look at some of the concerns that have come up. Yeah. Some people feel that they're confused. I mean, you're doctrine is different from what they probably have from where they are coming from so coming into that environment and trying to do things your way it confuses them yes uh, by means it should con confuse them but because if the person doesn't believe in it he may think that no why should i but the thing is that if you don't believe in it why do you go there if it will confuse they're placed again we come back and to so computer. you say I, I won't take it I won't take it. People <laughs> should be bold and say, we won't take this one. We will go to another place where we will feel comfortable and then learn. Otherwise, then uh, that religious body should establish schools and take their members there. So that uh, you, uh, there are we, no are we beginning to do everyone for him or herself? I mean, we thought we were one. <laughs> exactly. We were one. And so what is happening? Why is it that now people are questioning, I have established my school and you are questioning why I established it and why I should instill uh, those uh, um, certain values in, in the students who are there. That's why at the beginning I said, it is educating citizens in certain environment. And if you don't instill, accept the environment, don't go there. But sometimes you don't, I think most of the time you don't have a choice. How? You've been placed there. You know how difficult it is for parents to look for other so alternatives for their children. So that's why the system, children. that computer uh, uh, placement, placement system, so that, so that is, 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 for me, it's not the best. It's not good. And the conference raised this issue, and they have been raising it over the years since the 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 the, 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 uh, the, 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 the former government. We have been raising it. Why? Because. People will be taken to places where they don't want to go, and can bring confusion. And it, that is what this is. What is happening? Now. Is it only the the conference that has an issue with this? Uh, with the computer selection or yeah, the, where, yeah, and with you know students being placed in schools if, where if they're you, not. If you look at schools in Ghana, a chunk of them are owned by the Kale Church, and so that is why maybe some are not talking as much as the conference will talk. Okay, but you feel that because you own so much, you have a say. Exactly. How can I establish wanting to maybe educate people uh, in a certain way uh -huh. and then you say, no, 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 no more. I've invested in it. If you know how to establish schools, especially secondary schools, because I went to St. James, at the beginning it was very tough for the diocese, for the Bishop uh, Usu of Blessed Memory, memory to establish that school. And he, but he saw the need to do it for boys in the region. Now what happens? Look, go there and find out how many even do, those from the area go there. You have to struggle to go there. 
but they took their land to establish the schools. Now people come from all over Ghana. There is no problem that we educate citizens from all over Ghana at that place. But when you come there, why don't you comply with what we have and then educate yourself and go? Because nobody wants you to become a Catholic. No, that is not the issue. It is only the Catholics that they form, they, they gather together to continue to mentor them so that they can become good Catholics. The others are formed to become good citizens. Do I get the impression that uh Catholics don't have an issue uh, with going to other schools uh, founded on other beliefs. At all. At all. They, they, they have been going. They, some go to SDA, Akona, in the Ashanti, Ashanti region. Now even the university, the SDA university, uh, the campus in uh, Techiman. They go there and they come and tell you, oh, this is what you have asked us to do. And they go there. But at the, at the end, they come back to your church. So it shouldn't be an issue if you decide to go there. If that is where you, 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 you go, then follow it. Follow the, what they do there. The, the, the Islamic school in Accra, what happens? Those who are the women who are not Muslims, when they go there, what do they do? Don't they put on the hijab and after school, then they, 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 they take it? If you are a Catholic and you go there, you have to follow what they are doing there. How do, you see, how do you see this issue being resolved? Because, you know, when you start talking about it, it sounds really simple. Yeah. But it's not that simple. Oh, it's dialogue. We, that's why, as I, if, when you were talk, uh, discussing the partnership agreement with the government, mm -hmm. they, have, they should have phrased it and that we look at how to look at, uh, lo look at it. And so, uh, through dialogue. And it appears, I, don't, I haven't heard anything from the office of the chief human. Uh, the, the uh, Islamic Council. I haven't heard anything. Are you are you are you expecting them to also make a statement oh, on, yes, on these yes. current Whether developments? Whether they support what happened in uh, Takurade and what the students are saying, defying the directives of the GES, these things we, we have to know. Otherwise, uh, it will be like they support. But I don't think so. But how about mm -hmm. that plan meeting that you have with the Peace Council? Uh, we have a strategy that mm -hmm. we, we are going to uh, implement. So by all means, we will meet the Peace Council. So there's no scheduled meeting? No, no, there's no, uh, b because you see, we are now dialoguing with Christian Council, mm -hmm. which also owns- As in the uh, Catholic uh, bishops? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, they also own a lot of schools. So you will meet them and then discuss. The well, what forward. is the plan? You want to meet with the Peace Council, uh, with, with the Christian Council and uh, have, you know, agree on a stand together as Christians? Oh, no, 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 no. They have to also tell us their concerns about our, uh, the way forward. What do we do uh -huh, as, 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 as Christians? Because they, they also have schools and they are running them as we are running. Okay, so, so for now, you're dealing with or you are addressing or trying to resolve it your own way? Not our own way. We have to ha have a plan before we, we, we go, we move forward. And then when we meet the Christian, uh, the, 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 peace council. the Peace Council, then we will see. And the Peace Council is made up of Christians and Muslims. Mm -hmm. And so I think it will end up there. Does the GS agree to this later statement of yours? Oh, whether they agree or not, that's what we feel. Uh -huh. So we, uh, why should they agree? Uh, 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 before we even issue a statement, no. That is what we think. That no, they shouldn't threaten anybody. We should sit down and dialogue. So mm -hmm. whose statement should be the one that, you know, we all agree on? I mean, whose statement is supreme? Uh, the sta uh, because we've, sta had, we've had a series of statements that have been issued. The, 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 the one from the the communications ministry, the one from the Ghana Muslim Students Association, uh, the one from the GES, Christian now Council. this one from, yeah, the Christian Council and then uh, the Bishop's Conference. The Supreme One will be the uh, dialogue. The, the, the Supreme One will uh, be the each, dialogue. Each one has some concern. So until then what happens? Uh, because for those Muslims in, in your schools, for instance, if they are believing in what their leadership have told them, which mm -hmm. is, don't go for devotions, it means that they would abstain. Then you leave that environment. environment. That's, that's what I think. Uh, we haven't settled on that. But for me, 
this a personal thing. Then you okay. leave that environment. So what happens specifically to those students who refuse to follow your orders, who, who refuse to follow the rules in, in your schools? I, I don't think there any student who refuse. I, I don't think. So you, haven't, you haven't received any no, no, information no, no, that no anybody is because flouting they, they, any they, of they, your rules? They are there to be educated. And the education, there, there's no Catholic or Methodist or Presby syllables in the schools. The syllable belongs to the nation. And that is what they are following. And so they will go to the classroom, they are taught. Yeah, but, but school is not all about classroom. There are other activities, the other activities there are other are religious activities the, that they may not believe in it. You don't believe in it, but it will help you to be a better person in society. And you, you, you ask our leaders, and those in the hem of affairs now, where they went. And now they are leading us. Well, so, a typical example will be uh, uh, Michael Insawa, who we spoke to, a former GES uh, director, who went to an Islamic school, exactly. but is Christian. Exactly. And very and much he Catholic. Con he contributed his quota to the nation. And so that is all the church is about. Hmm. It is not after anybody becoming a Catholic, anybody becoming a Methodist. That is not the so end. where do we go from here after your press statement? Oh, the, the next one will be the di dialogue. We are going to sit down and dialogue. We wanted pe people to know, the conference wanted to people to know that, no, we, not that we are quiet. We are not quiet. We are concerned about what is happening. And if you don't take care, it can lead us to where we don't want. Mm. So calm down, let us dialogue, and don't issue threat to anybody. Uh -huh, that is it. All right. And Reverend so we have, Father, we have calmed down the, the situation and we'll move forward from there. Thank you very much for your time. Welcome. Really, Thank really you. appreciate it. Thank Reverend you. Father Nicholas Efri is the Secretary General of the Ghana Catholic Bishops Conference. Uh, very interesting conversation. But I also want to take you to Facebook uh, for this news that came out yesterday. Some people are rejoicing uh, about the Ashanti Regional Minister and his deputy being asked to leave. Essentially, they've been sacked. It's generating a lot of comment on Facebook. So here we go with a few of those to share with everybody else. Uh, <laughs> Abdul Razak is asking a very hard question. Uh, and I feel, Abdul, you should know. He says, please tell us why they are sacked. We want to know. Patrick Redu says, can the president sack, him <laughs> sack himself to amazing? Why are you saying that? Uh, Oti A. Wisdom says, oh, no. Let's see. Eunice Osei or Hime thinks they will be reappointed soon. Uh, and Efum Enchi Beniza says they need to be sacked. Uh, okay. Even they have to. Uh, okay. So essentially, Efum saying that they've been long there. So, like, long overdue. The sacking should have come earlier. Uh, Joshua. Uh, Ajete says, Yamin again, so you cannot occupy a position for a year from sports to regional. Oh, Yamin. <laughs> and Kwesi Alban, this is, I know that you're sending a lot, but I'll end with this one. Hmm, Mahama has done it again, Kwesi Alban says. So uh, keep sending the messages, a lot of them, and get, get involved, but keep it clean, especially if you want me to share it with everybody else. Stay with us. We've got more coming your way. Oh.